The 2020 ETRC season opener takes place in Most in the Czech Republic. Castle Hnevin is the landmark of the industrial city in northern Bohemia, where brown coal open cut mining is still the engine of the economy. Light manufacturing and service industries are other economic branches in the city, which is well known beyond its city limits, but above all for its racetrack. The circuit, which has been part of the ETRC calendar for several years, traditionally hosts the pre-season tests ahead of the season start. This year, however, due to the coronavirus pandemic, it's where the truck racing teams come together for the first time for the season opener of the FIA European Truck Racing Championship. I never thinking about we start the season in the most. It's the dream for us because we are a Czech, but OK, it's not so easy situation. We must do in this condition with the mask, with everything. Uh, it's not so easy for everybody. But for me, finally we are the racing because the gap between the last race and the first race, it's 10 or 11 months. It's a very long time and I'm very happy we are here and we start racing. The Czech local hero would like to win at least one race and possibly also take the championship lead at Most, but his competitors will certainly have their say, like the reigning and six-time European champion Jochen Hahn. Team Hahn Racing is back with their trusted Iveco technology. The truck received a makeover during the winter months and the champion with the number one is driving the racing version of the new S-Way model. Hungarian driver Norbert Kish is back with a completely new team for the 2020 season. Kish is no longer racing with Mercedes and the Tank Fiorent's Fansig team. He will contest the upcoming season with the all-new Revesh truck racing team with an MAN race truck from Sasha Lentz's pool. It was uh, very uncertain, you know, we didn't know what to do in May, in June, in July, you know, we didn't know what will happen. And uh, yeah, that, that was bad, you know. Um, I think, you know, on the sponsor side as well and, and on the team side as well, you know, that what, what, what are we going to do, you know, with the team, you know, inside the team. And, um, and yeah, it was difficult, but I am happy that we are finally here. There is no Mercedes racing truck on the grid anymore. However, Tank Fiorent's Fansig is still running a team in the ETRC. After a one-year hiatus from the championship, German driver Stefan Fass from Baden-Württemberg has teamed up with the company from Minden and worked hard over the winter break to prepare for the upcoming season. When we raced in 2018, it was clear that we were testing to see how it all works in truck racing. I find truck sport really interesting and enjoy it a lot. We also had the desire for perfection, which we already had in KTM and wanted to bring that into truck racing. And of course, we had the passion for trucks. KTM hatten mit in den Trucksport reinzubringen und aber auch die Leidenschaft von den Trucks. A new face this season in the paddock is Clemens Hecker. The German runs a family business in the cement and natural stone industry in the Westphalian city of Anruchter and wants to race the full season. Furthermore, Lukas Hahn, Jochen Hahn's son, is on the grid in Most as a race-by-race -race entry. For the 22-year-old, it's a learning season. He might also be on the grid again at the season finale in Masano. I have to get the experience, take it all in, keep improving and stay focused on what lies ahead. And last but not least, there are two more new faces at Bagheera. Frenchman Theo Calvé has taken over Ollie James's place and will contest the Promoters' Cup, which is officially called the Goodyear Cup this season. And there is also Alia Koloch, the 16-year-old daughter of Bagheera team owner Martin Koloch. Alia is no stranger to the track in Most and has done a lot of testing here. She is the second female driver on the ETRC grid, next to Steffi Halm. Nobody knows better than Adam Lachko how to post a fast lap in a race truck at Most. Hi, my name is Adam Lasko and welcome here in the Most. And I show you one lap from last year with uh, me and Jochen in front of me. 
uh, in the most circuit yeah okay we go now we're coming for uh, start and finish straight it's very long because from this moment we have 160 and we have a lot of time watching around and check uh, our dashboard and everything here we must start st uh, start breaking around the 100 meters before the corner shift down right left here i'm so long on the brake <laughs> and now we shift up to eight high and now it's again it looks like straight but it's not straight it's very long left corner but we go there all time full throttle again it's 160 is maximum speed it's full brake without the shifting turn left near very close to the curbs here is on the curbs to the right full throttle right curbs left curbs and full braking here is not possible so much past somebody but now it's very important exit because it's again the straight downhill and after it's very fast right corner to the uphill and there it's the corner where it's possible past somebody and yeah? now we're coming to the fast right corner it's very important without the penalty marker because it's somebody touch and is not there but now we're coming to the corner where it's called Matador it's the right corner and here is possible pass somebody it's right, full throttle, left and again we must concentrate for exit it's better lose little bit left corner and concentrate for this right corner and now it's again coming the place where it's possible pass somebody but in this lab I don't pass Jochen because he's so far from me and here it's full braking around the 100 meters turn right full throttle straight and the last corner on the, this nice very nice circuit in the most it's right full and we are come to the finish in this lap thank you and i hope you enjoyed the lap in most with me saturday morning time for qualifying the first serious comparison with the competition. In dry conditions, one driver who only insiders might have had on their radar draws everyone's attention by posting the fastest lap. Norbert Kisch, the Hungarian, seems to be getting on very well with his new old MAN truck from Sasha Lentz and puts his red number 40 race truck on pole for the first race. Kish is nearly one and a half tenths of a second faster than Jochen Hahn. The reigning champion qualifies second. In third, Sasha Lentz and only fourth, Adam Lachko, who certainly expected more. Norbert Kish, on the other hand, is visibly happy after Super Pole. <laughs> the free practices were really nice, and um, and the qualifying was even better, you know. So I'm I'm really happy about the result, and uh, and I'm really happy that we are on pole position, you know, with the new team, Ravis Track Racing team. I'm really thankful for the team that you know we are here and uh, for the good job they did. Race one of the new ETRC season 2020. The grid in Mosh on the 4.2 kilometer long challenging track. The Hungarian in the red MAN truck is on the front row in the best starting position. I'm sure it will be difficult, you know, the start and the first two turns. But, you know, I hope to stay in front, you know, I, I, I try to do my best to stay in front. Next to Norbert Kish on the front row, Jochen Hahn in the newly designed Iveco S-Way race truck. Last year's champion, who was on pole 13 out of 16 times in 2019, isn't entirely happy with his performance. Time practiced, first row is top. Maybe we could have done more, but I'm really happy. I'm starting from the front row and, and now we go racing. On the second row, Sasha Lentz with his new MAN truck in a new design. And next to him, Adam Lachko, the Czech driver in the Bagheera Freightliner, number 55.
the third row. Fifth, Steffi Halm, the German from Team Schwabentruck in the Iveco. In sixth position, Anthony Janiek, the Frenchman with number 66 in the yellow Lion Truck Racing Team MAM. The anticipation amongst the fans is huge, especially for the Czech Adam Lachko. Away from the stars, Norbert Kish on the inside of the pit wall. Next to him, Jochen Hahn on board with Adam Lachko. Directly behind him is Frenchman Anthony Janiak. Down to turn one, always a pinch point. The field squeezes through the first two tight corners. The top four drivers managing to get away from the rest. Suddenly, a red flag. Anthony Janiak has been caught out. The Lion truck driver is parked on the grass with visible damage to the front right suspension. On board with Janiak, who struggles to control his truck. The issue was caused when he and Steffi Hahn made contact between turns one and two. This is where it happened. Second corner with Steffi is the small small touch and my front my front axle broke uh, broke and and I I want to uh, continue uh, no possible. Janiek's truck is on the hook. No chance for the Frenchman to race again when the race was restarted later on. The restart. Kish is in front again. Hahn next to him and this time Sasha Lentz stays ahead of Adam Lachko. Therefore, no change in the first four positions. On board with Antonio Albafetti, the Spaniard witnesses the crash between Stefan Fass in the Scania number 24 and Lucas Hahn in Iveco number 22. Fass later receives a 30 second penalty. Lucas Hahn struggles with a flat right rear tyre. Not a great debut for him this weekend. He finishes a respectable 10th in the end though. Halfway through the race, Norbert Kish is already four seconds clear. Jochen Hahn fights with Sasha Lentz and Adam Lachko is behind them. Lap nine, position seven and eight. The fight between Stefan Fass in number 24 and Jamie Anderson. Anderson gets passed into seventh position and takes over the lead in the Goodyear Cup. Norbert Kish wins after 11 laps, a start to finish victory for the Hungarian, the champion of 2014 and 2015, ahead of Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lentz. Relief for Kish, who celebrates his first victory in a main race of the ETRC since the season opener in Misano last year when he won in the wet. The trophy for the victory awaits a worthy winner, Norbert Kish. With him, German drivers Jochen Hahn in second, Sasha Lentz in third. Well done, Norbert Kish. A look at the results of the ETRC season opening race. And worth pointing out in eighth place, Adia Koloc. The 16-year-old Czech will start race two from pole position. 13 trucks classified in the first race. Theo Calve didn't make it to the chequered flag. So it's a maiden win for Norbert Kish this year. I'm really happy about it. You know, we are here back. Competitive, very competitive, you know, first ball position and the first race victory right away, you know, on a circuit that is, you know, not our favorite uh, or not my favorite, but apparently maybe it will become our favorite, you know, so, you know, I'm really happy. Jochen Hahn between races one and two still pondering about the gap of six to seven tenths to Norbert Kish. The new Iveco S-Way seems to have more potential. I'm really excited to present to you the new Iveco S-Way. From the outside, you might think it's a new race truck, but no, it's a new design. Aerodynamic would be the wrong word. Of course, it looks very aerodynamic, but it's not allowed within the regulations. So therefore, we have a new design, which we created together with the chief designer in Italy, and that's what you can see here. For me, it's the most appealing race truck I've ever driven, and now we can only hope it has the same speed like in 2019 and 2018, and that we haven't made things worse. 
you always try to optimize and change everything, sometimes you get it wrong. Und ja, zu verändern, manchmal geht's nach hinten los. Hier denke ich, haben wir was erschaffen, geschaffen. Ähm ja, schauen wir mal auf der Seite. Let's look at it from this side. I'm coming from very low down because I'm small compared to the race truck. Not much has changed on the inside. Of course, there are some regulation changes which we have considered, mainly safety features. Otherwise, it's my familiar surroundings where I'm comfortable and where we can push on and hopefully uh, win races. Angasen können und hoffentlich Rennen gewinnen. We were nervous how will we all get through the pandemic, but it's still here and the question today is how can we do motorsport with the crisis? Well, crisis is the wrong word, with the pandemic, with Corona. Uh, I think together with the FIA and the new promoter we found a good solution to be there for the fans and to race. We now look forward to that and, and the new S-Way, we are here. See you soon. Race two in Most. The Mercedes pace track is ready, and so is Alia Koloch. Due to the reverse grid, she's in the best starting position. Next to her is Renee Reinert. Therefore, the fight on the front row is experience versus newcomer. Yes, I'm very happy, but I'm extremely nervous starting on the first grid, but hopefully it'll be good. And Yes, I'm happy. On the second row, Jamie Anderson in third and Steffi Hall next to him in fourth position. A British-German battle, MAN against Iveco. Behind them, the top four from race one with Adam Lachko in fifth position. The fans are cheering and wave their flags for the local hero, Adam Lachko. The start of the second race. Oh! Koloch, the 16-year-old Czech on the inside of the pit wall, gets a good start. Reinert next to her, slightly ahead at the first bend, but they're both on the same level as they break into the first 90-degree right-hander. Who will come out in front? Reinert's experience prevails. He breaks later, gets his track better around the corner, and number 77, the Iveco, is in the lead. A clear advantage for Reinert after half a lap. Koloch, who has her faster teammate Latchko on her back, moves over. And the whole trail moves through. Next through is Halm, then Lentz. Then Norbert Kisch, and finally, also Jochen Hahn. But Koloch doesn't see Harm. The Czech racer gets carried out of the corner and sends Harm onto the grass. And in front, Reinert slips on oil on the track and shoots off into the gravel. Lachko only just manages to stay on the track. Harm doesn't. She's off as well. When I was breaking into the penultimate corner, there was oil or diesel on the track and no flags waved. I didn't see it. I braked, locked up and went straight into the gravel, race over. I was in last position and that was it. I didn't see that René was already in trouble because I was directly behind Adam and I couldn't react anymore. I didn't get as far off as René, but still lost a few positions. Uh, yes, a real shame, but it was my mistake. Alia Koloch has to retire her wounded Bagheera Freightliner on lap two with tyre damage after making contact with Jochen Hahn. I think I was fighting with Sasha. And then he told me he put gas and then his back wheel and then it hit my hit my tire and then I got a puncture and then I accidentally hit Han. Jochen Hahn gets past Jamie Anderson on lap five and takes over fourth position. Adam Lachko wins his home race after eleven laps ahead of Sasha Lentz and Norbert Kish. A Czech win in Most. 
The limited number of fans who were allowed at the track due to Covid restrictions were delighted with their home hero. Now when we won the one race it's very nice for me and also for team and also for Czech spectators because we are at home and this is uh, every time the best what is possible when you won in the in the home circuit on the home circuit on the podium Lachko Lentz and not how expected Norbert Kish but Jochen Hahn the Hungarian driver was handed a 10 second penalty for over speeding and therefore drops back to sixth in the ranks the results of race two Lucas Hahn, the race-by-race race entry, sensationally in seventh position ahead of Antonio Albafetti. A difficult first weekend for the Spaniard. René Reinert, 14th and in last position after his off into the gravel. Iveco provides the ETRC with an innovation truck this season. The Iveco S-Way NP, a road truck powered by environmentally friendly LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, which gains even more scores and is, is exempt from road charges. The technology is now ready, it's the second generation and we are very excited to showcase the truck here. A lot of customers who come to us have never driven an Iveco before, have driven competitor brands and they are thrilled. The trucks are clean, quiet, but at the same time as powerful as a diesel-powered truck. We have now taken the first step and we will see the momentum over the next couple of years. Sunday afternoon in Mosht. Dark clouds in the sky above northern Bohemia announced showers which flood the track right before the race. Extremely difficult conditions and a nearly unmanageable task for the ETRC drivers to keep their 5.3-tonne racing trucks on a Goodyear semi-slick tyre on track. The race director decides to red flag the race. I think it's possible to drive in the rain, but uh, we have to wait until the aqua planning is, uh, or you know, the water is uh, going off from the, from the new part of the circuit. Then, then we can we can drive a little bit if there is no standing water anymore. After nearly two hours, the second attempt to finish race three. The first lap is under yellow flags. Norbert Kish, the man on pole, and at the start of lap two, he already has a small gap to the driver behind him in second, Sasha Lentz. Then Jochen Hahn and the rest of the field. The rear view from Steffi Halm's truck, who has French driver Janiek right behind her. Adam Lachko overtakes Jochen Hahn on lap three at the end of the start-finish straight and takes over third position. The Czech driver is on his way to a podium finish. Lap 5. Janiek is still in 6th position behind Halm, but he lines up a move on the right side and is alongside the German at Turn 1. He's on the better side, and now 5th. Halm only in 6th position. On the penultimate lap, Sasha Lentz suddenly catches Kish. It looks like the Hungarian driver has a problem, and he's overtaken by Lentz and also Lachko. I think we broke broke a brake disc, uh, the left left front, I think. Um, so it was a challenge not to crash, you know, on my own. Last lap, Sasha Lentz in his green and black MAN in the lead. Lachko in second. And there's excitement on the pit wall. Sasha Lentz did it. He celebrates his first ETRC win in a main race. The team is happy and of course also so is the man himself who's worked so hard for it. It's a big result for Sasha Lentz. I tried my best and it was going well. At the start I had no chance against Norby, he pulled away, but I didn't make any mistakes, we stayed on the track and that's all that matters. I won and got 20 points!
The results of race three, which was also the last one of the weekend as race four was cancelled due to the rain. Sasha Lentz ahead of Adam Lachko and Norbert Kish. The Hungarian driver was able to finish the race third despite that broken brake disc. Jamie Anderson finished 10th and takes over the lead in the Goodyear Cup with three podiums. A great result for Sasha Lentz, who finishes on the podium in Most in three races. A third and a second yesterday, the top step today. And to top it all off, Sasha Lentz leads the ETRC overall standings. The driver who lives near the Nürburgring has become a real contender. The top four are all within eight points. The 2020 season opener in Marsh is most certainly a weekend to remember for Sasha Lentz.